got a bit wet. Just a bit. Have we got on film? Yes! <laughs> Look at that, that is an agile man right there. I bet you regret that decision. <laughs> and then it's just gonna be easy. It's gonna be exciting. And then you. 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 Try a needle. Just in case. Good morning, everyone. If you have not already, don't forget to, I've got no hands, hit the subscribe button, ring the little bell. Videos every Tuesday, Friday, and sometimes we do a light-hearted Sunday video. In today's video, what's going on? You can see we're at the farm. You can see I've just collected a couple of things. We are going over the road to the new shed and we are going to look at our beef stock, we're going to look at the young stock and we are going to have a proper tidy up, get out of the way for Heidi. Look at this Ayrshire heifer we had this morning, like beautiful. Look at you! Oh, wish I was that good looking. Good deal. Just a bit. Holy moly. I didn't film it, but I drove in the road, reversed back, and drove back, and there was no one. That is what lockdown does. One little plus of a thing. Keep coming! Ah, oh, that'll do! on film. Yes! <laughs> that took 22 minutes. What? 22 minutes this has been going for. And this was meant to be a little bit of a segment. Ninja Tom worked. Right, let's go do the job we were meant to do. Heidi and I are going to go in the van. Dad's taking the two highlands and the gate over there. We're gonna meet him over there. We just got a job to do before we go over there, Hyde. And then I will actually show you what this video is about. Can you believe it's already 12 o'clock? I know. Not fancy. Oh, I'm about to push up this gate just in case. So you'll see we are back in the nice shed this is where the cows have been so this is the tuesday after the friday of moving see with the sections they've got so they've got a slurry section a bedding up section and um that's really just how it works so what we're doing today is the highlands that are in here they are moving to here the ginger guy with the mustache thinks that the highlands will be fine to feed here i don't know much about that but let's see that first change of plan ginger's here he's helping us today me hides and uh Desmondo, look at that, that is an agile man right there. I bet you regret that decision. 
<laughs> Look at Heidi. Look how mean that is. It's my phone got caught. Yeah, <laughs> okay. Let's blame the phone. Hey! That's how that's done. Yeah. I'd put crush here, hang gate top link on there, gate to here, crush here, they funnel down. Yeah. Plan. Right, let's get the crush. What Heidi Father and myself have done, I've got no idea, that's probably wrong. Got a gate from there at the angle, so this will filter them in. We've got a straight here and then we'll put the crush there. It would be nicer if we could get that gate to that corner, which we probably could, you know. We could probably tie it to there, but it just won't be as strong as being on a hinge here. And then we're gonna put the crush there. And then it's just gonna be easy, he says confidently. Oh, we've left the highlands in there for now because we thought if we put the highlands into here, they'll run around, they'll fight, and uh, we're trying to do stuff with them so they can fight when we're not here and we can close our eyes. That's the plan. Yeah, yeah. Bring that small gate for there. Yeah, yeah. And we'll make it do. It's we'll fine. open it as we want it, yeah? Yeah. We're going to have to use your uh, attitude for people in here. That's a squeeze to come in. Yeah. Oh, that's that's a we have organized it we have realized that the big jcb struggles to fit in here so we've only had to put the crush there so we've changed the way we've done our gate it's gonna be a little bit more difficult but you know i'm a big guy i'll be able to boss them but no power here yet so we do have the clippers but there's no power to this system the adapter on the generator isn't here uh, we, we don't have a generator it's literally all their stuff they do have an adapter but they've not got it with them today which is no bother with our wired clippers unfortunately we're not going to be able to use those heidi's going to be doing the worming so we've got some ivermec hides where's the ivermec i hope it's in there i packed this by the way so so use the lesser one first and there should be a fuller one in there i'm gonna say boom this is what we're gonna be worming with them today i've make super this will do them for worms and fluke you'll see that some of them will have a green stripe on the back they are the 14 that we brought yesterday from our showroom we took them out of there so they have the green spray on the back so that means don't worm them just clean the tails because there's no point worming them because those guys have never been outside so never been exposed to fluke or worms which i think is correct that's what i've always been told so that is what we do today we are actually going to do a bit of work and crack on oh, get first ones in the fun what what how much I'll tell you per one. One mil per 40 kg. Under skin. But under skin, yeah. First one is just a tail trim. And this thing is actually quite good because it should keep them away from me. We're on the showroom, looking really well. I just need worming. Dad's just going to clean its tail and then we're just going to let them out. Green, no. Done. Honestly, I shot them both my pen knives up. About 300, yeah, 7 to 8. Wait, so, no, put the shoulder. A bit higher, a bit. Yeah, you're right then. What I've got here for hides is a necklace. Not as cool as a chain as last year. Not as cool as a chain. There you go. Making it look cool. Just such a nice guy, is it? It's only a tail trim, Tom. This is nearly full of the KG. Yeah. You might get your 10 in here. So that's a perfect example of something that really needs it. So what I've just done is made a mess. Is cut its end of a tail off, chuck that away. It'd be better if we trimmed, but maybe next time. Heidi's gonna give it a jab of I've make super. It's doing all right, it's got enough condition, but this has got a fear of having worms, having to fluke. So just doing it, we'll cover it really nicely and uh, it can go forward. Dad's pen knife to shop for mine. Getting through a bit more. We've done probably 20-ish maybe, just short of. Heidi's smashing the wormer. We have 291 here. So this cow here 
you would not believe is the worst behaved cow in the world. So we just put two calves on her, you'll see two little ones running around. So uh, she just feeds them, lives a life outside in the field, living the dream. That is a good tail to not be swishing on the backs. I don't think I've said why we do this. So we do it because with the long tails, what they do is they swish. So Perfect example there. So swish, 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 swish. If that tail gets mucky, they smoke themselves and they get a lot muckier. This is just keeping them clean and tidy. We're going to do these again today, but time's just got on a little bit. Do them tomorrow or Thursday. I might have something coming on Thursday, so we might have to have a play with something just before we do it. We'll find out. Anything. Job done, man. Oh, work that. Yeah. What we wanted to do to start with, which we struggled to do, is make a race system. We wanted that gear like that, and then imagine they go through there, then they get to the crush. I think it would have worked a lot better, but that crush is so heavy, and the JCB couldn't get there, so we were never going to get that past there. We just did forget, we were just about to finish, but we've got a worm trim the tails of the Highland. Again, we did want to get the clippers and really trim them down and tidy them up, but we don't have that facility today. We might have it in a couple of days maybe. Gonna wait for over the road, and then we'll, I say over the road, I mean over there. Yeah, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna clip him. I think we'd better clipping him, won't we? Save doing him twice. That is the plan. Stan. You gotta go right to there. All right. That's right. <laughs> I just made the tactical decision. Whoa, one minute. Whoa, whoa, one minute. Sure he's dead. A little bit more. Down there. To be fair to him, it is hard to hear over the thing. We've got one chance at this, haven't we? It's gonna be exciting. Right, you don't get in the way in the nicest way possible. We're gonna try to do one at a time. And that is why I'm paid absolutely nothing. Boom! One is in, new one's in there. Worm it. Worm it, let it go. If we clipped it up, did its belly and everything, made it look tidy. That's crazy. First one. Go on then. Put the shoe in. We have to cook something with a loaf of bread. Oh. God, I'm good. And she's out of the blocks. So you gotta think if you ever think Highlands are big or small. So these in here are about the 12 month kind of age ish. Maybe a little bit younger than 12 months, these ones. And the Highlands are 18, 18 months old, I think, pretty much. So they are quite small. We'll have a look at them in a minute. We'll just like get this tidied up. Some beef cattle loaded up. Yeah, then. We've got some Angus's that want to go to the farm shop. It's getting towards Christmas. They want two a week for the next five weeks at least, just to start hanging to be ready for Christmas and have two weeks hung. So that's what we're doing now. Got it. Our stock are pretty chilled. Uh, because we probably cody for them. Like this, this Charolais is the nicest Charolais. But these Angus's are a little bit fat, just over two years old, which is great. 
So these guys will go in on Thursday. We've done a lot this morning. We've done a lot already. These guys have been fluked, wormed and trimmed. They need bedding up and the front seat scraping out, but this isn't just ready yet. And they're waiting for a part to go on the end. So we're gonna come back pretty soon to do those guys because they need worming. They're looking quite well, but some of them might need worming the ones that are a bit far off for being on the farm shop. This is a 66 day meat and milk withdrawal on the Ivermex Super that we're using at the moment. So we've got to be really careful on what we use and what's going into the farm shop. Good day, Heights. You've got pony face. Hides smashed it on her own. She didn't even meet, need me for assistance to there. 12 months on. Improvement than last 12 year. months? Easy, isn't it? Yeah. We didn't need, we didn't, I didn't do anything pretty much. I can get better. Heidi can get better, that's what we like. A little bit of room for improvement, but so can I at pretty much every single farming job. Guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. A lot went on today. We got the Highlands in and we trimmed them. Hopefully they can feed through here. We'll find out in the next few days. Thanks very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, we might see you when do those next or who knows. See ya, bye. Fat. Definitely fat. Beautifully conditioned with a perfect amount of fat. And definitely fat. Christmas beef is a go.